All right, guys, here we are tonight at Golf Central, and we're hitting the new Talamade P730. And now in previous videos, we've hit the other P range. We've hit the 790, 770, 750, and the 7 now, the 730. Now, that is blade length, and it's not 730 mils. It's 73 mil uh, in length, so quite tiny. Now, the MP18 is actually 74, 74 and a half mils. Oh wide so uh, this is actually smaller in blade length than the Mizuno MP18 you can tell that too they're it, a little club even though, even though yeah. it's one and a half mil is nothing nah. you you can you can notice it by the ball you can tell it. oh yeah and that's the seven iron so imagine what the um, four iron would be like I don't want to you don't want to so but <laughs> <laughs> no it would be like because the, yeah. the, the four iron in the MP18 is a bit of a butter knife so the four on this would be even more of a butter knife. So loft wise, these are as traditional as they get. Six iron is 31 degrees, yeah. which is actually one degree weaker, weaker. than the Mizunos. Yeah. And then the three iron's 21? 21. Three iron's 21. Yeah, which is weak. Which is quite weak. Because nowadays it's like 20, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, for the Mizunos, uh, uh, no, they're about the same as the Mizunos, but you can get three irons that are up to like 19 degrees. Yeah pretty easily yeah exactly so they're almost a two on yeah now feel mint they feel done review over <laughs> they feel um i mean we got range all so it's a little bit different it's a little bit different yeah. but they kind of feel like i wouldn't call it a dull sound but like or dull feel. it just feels like for me it feels like nothing's kind of coming off the face if that makes sense it's if you know it's what i mean so, it's soft yeah, yeah it's, it's just it's, so soft so buttery. Buttery. So made of um, 1025 steel, same as the Mizuno, uh, um, same as the Callaway. So I, I can't tell you about the Titleist, but definitely those three, yeah. they're all made of the same material. Yeah. So they're all going to feel and sound much of a muchness. Yeah, they do. They feel pretty same to your... Well, yeah, the MP18s. Yeah. There's, there's not much difference between yeah. them at all. Um, biggest thing with these, I mean, they're precision. That's what they talk about, all tour stuff, um, as the train goes past. But... Uh, it's all precision stuff for the tour player, so this is going to allow the better player to be able to shape their shots a little yeah, bit easier. Yeah, you can feel that it comes out a little bit higher. It does. For me, anyway. So, I'll, I'll actually put a shot tracer up of what you, when, when you hit one earlier. Yeah. You hit this 7-iron, and then you've hit some other 7-irons. Yeah, the, you it, noticeably tell straight away you're like... That are slightly yeah. different. In, so, this is a full blade. He was hitting some other ones before. Yeah. And it was a noticeable difference. Yeah, but it's... it's and that's what you're going to get. Yeah. So from a numbers point of view, of view these are not going to be the longest 7-iron. You know, I'm, I usually hit my MP18 7-iron at a reasonably hard swing, somewhere around the 160-odd yeah. mark. You know, just over that. This so is about, yeah. a smidgen under that. Yeah, but I mean, it's the same thing with blades. You, they look mint, they feel mint. When you miss hit them, they feel crap. And that's the thing. If, you, if you're a little bit off, these are going to punish you a little bit more than others are, but a lot of people have got to realise or, or have a look at too. These are going to spin up a little bit more. Yeah, you can tell that even no numbers. Correct, we, 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 which means that uh, out of the rough, they're going to hold some spin too. Yeah, which is what they're correct. They've designed. You, they're designed for the player for you, a reason. So if you flush everything, your spin differentials, you're not going to have a big difference in in forward to back numbers. Yeah, because the spin's already quite up there. So unless yeah. you're back into the wind. And it's overspinning yeah. potentially. That's when there's issues. Problems. But all things equal, if everything is it's spinning reasonably high, it's not going to go that long and short. Whereas some other clubs that may be a game improving, you might catch a little bit of a flyer, yeah. and you might because it might underspin a little that's bit. That's what I. You can tell that when you play with blades. I haven't played with blades for a while, but you can tell. You but can you've feel got a the smaller club. Yeah. yeah, you can feel. You tend to catch a lot more flyers. Obviously, you don't want to be in the rough, but you tend to catch more flyers out of rough with game yeah slightly more game improving clubs than the traditional blades but G I mean that's well but it's because they're already slightly stronger pros and lofted cons for everything so yeah of course there is so you need to go check them out anyway or you need to yeah, go yeah definitely even if yeah, they're, they're if, mint yeah they are yeah <laughs> it's that simple like if, if you were and considering if you like you can hit, hit blades and I'd say get them definitely if you're considering the Mizunos definitely consider these yeah. I think they're probably the two best blades on the market at the moment the Callaways look good but the shape for me doesn't quite yeah, suit my Strixen's eye. Good as well. Strixen's are bloody good. They're a little bit bigger head. Is is the only thing. Yeah. But if you're looking at a smaller blade that has a very 
sharp edge. Like you can see, this I is feel like these are getting almost like a Mizuno. Yeah, and back and, and to they're like, back to old school. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I feel like blades nowadays. I don't know if maybe people have fallen in love with trends as well, but like everyone's fallen back in love with the old school look, and these look as also they look like the hickory clubs I got at home, like just that little. Did you start golf that early? <laughs> nah, I don't know who they are, but we have some at home. But yeah, they look—they honestly look like you just, they obviously bigger, but like you can just tell they got the same little, that stuff, I'm not very good at. No, it's got a nice I mean? little milling in, in, yeah. the, in the back section in the there. there. It's a simple straight line. Yeah, it just, it just looks sweet. Like the Mizunos now, Titus yeah. have always had a pretty much a straight line in the back there. Um, it's as class, as classic as it gets. Yeah. It is probably the smallest blade on the market. Yeah, it would be, so. Today. Apart from maybe Miura baby blades, or at least they oh, used yeah. to be smaller, but that is this, out of the big companies, that's easily the shortest blade length of any iron on the market. I would definitely think about getting them, but exactly, it could be new irons actually. You never I'm know. Probably need new irons. Yeah, been three years. It's time. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you haven't checked them out, go check out the uh, the P730s or even the rest of the Tullamade P range. They're pretty damn good, even the P790, which is a little bit bigger. Yeah. That suits a lot of people. So go check them out in the 770s, 750s. That's no, me. Cheers, guys. Thanks for checking the video and uh, check out the Talamade range. Cheers. See you guys.